Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and today I'm going to show you how you can create a Docker image for your Django app and run it on your local server. So let's begin. So first of all, you need to have Docker installed on your system, obviously. So for that, you can verify it using Docker hyphen hyphen version. And if it prints a version for you, then the Docker is installed in your system. All right, so now I have a sample Django app created here, which I'll just run for you. Uh, this is just a simple Django app. I'll first install the requirements, which are just Django in this case. And then when I run this app, uh, this should just redirect me to the basic page which I have created for this app. It is just a one page website, which is the original template of the Django app when you create the project. All right, so now if I run python manage.py run server, it should start running the Django app on the 8000 port right here. All right, so this is the Django app which I have. Uh, made for now. This is just for example. So now, uh, so now we can begin creating Docker image for a Django app. So first of all, you need to uh, go inside the directory you want your app is present in, <clears throat> and then you can create a file named Docker file. Dot Django or something, anything you can uh, put any name here. I'll just put Django here, and after creating the file, you, you can start writing the commands for the Docker file. All right, so for this, I'm going to import a template Python slim version. This template is compatible with Django, so we can start working with Python 3.9 slim version. All right, perfect. Now uh, we need to declare our work directory, which I'm just going to keep as slash app inside a container. And now we can install some depend system dependencies like run app get update i'm going to update the system libraries and then i can run one more command we can apt get install hyphen y these are just some basic system dependencies which we can install before uh, building our django image all right so i have written down here some system dependencies which are gcc libpqdev and I'm going to remove the apt lists directory as well. All right, so now we can begin uh, copying the requirements, which is copy. Then I'm going to pass the relative path to my requirements.txt file, which is present inside the Django app folder here. All right, so now I'll just pass the path to the requirements.txt. And then I'm going to copy that file to the root directory of our app, which is just dot. Perfect. So now we can install these requirements by running the command pip install. And I'm just going to pass a tag here, which is no cache directory, which means that it is not going to pick up libraries from the cache storage because that can possibly uh, conflict with the currently existing packages. All right, so now I can run pip install no cache directory, and then I'm going to run hyphen r and the name of my requirements file, which is requirements.txt. All right, great. Now we can copy our entire app, which is slash Django app, to the root directory of our Docker images container, which is the slash app, or I can just put dot right here. Perfect. And now we can expose the port for Django, which is the port 8000. So I'll just write here expose 8000, which will expose the port for a Django application so that we can access it using our local host. All right, so now. Finally, we can write, write the command to run our Django app, which is simply command. And then I will write the sequence of command, which is Python, then manage.py, and then run server. So that's it. That's how you can run a Django app, Python manage.py run server. So that should work for you. All right, so now we can build the image. So for building the image, we can run, first of all run the command docker build hyphen t and then uh, the image name which i want to keep here which is just django app and then i'm going to pass the name of docker file here which is docker file dot django and then i'm going to pass the directory in which the file is present which is just dot because i'm currently in the docker directory only well so before running this command i need to uh, use this hyphen f tag because i'm explicitly declaring a docker file here so now this has started building the docker image for my django app it took a lesser time for me because 
my app was already in the cache storage, but it might take 15 to 20 seconds for your app to uh, compile. All right, so now we have created the Docker image for a Django app. We can verify it using the command Docker images. And there it is, our Django app present right there. Perfect. So now we can run this uh, app by using the Docker run function. And for this, now we can bind port 8000 to 8000. And then we can pass the name of the image, which is the Django app. Guys, so just remember one thing while uh, writing the command for running the run server command here, you need to also pass the local hosts 8000 port here uh, for referencing for referring to the 8000 port actually. So, as you can see, I have now run the docker file here, and now if I reload here, my logs will be printed right here, which is get slash. That means our Django app is running perfectly. And one more thing with Django is we can also run it with Gunicon which is actually the correct way to run Django apps in production. So how to how we can actually run is, uh, first of all, we can run another command here, which is run pip install gunicorn. Or if gunicorn is already present in your requirements.txt, then you can skip this part. Then we can write the command for gunicorn specifically, which is gunicorn and then we can write the sequence of command commands, which is just bind. Then we can bind our 0.0.0.0 port 8000 to our Django app.wsgi application. All right, so now I've binded my port to the WSGI application here. So now it should work perfectly fine. Now I'll build the image again. And now I'll just stop the previous container, which is running here. Uh, I think it has already stopped. So now I'll just run this container again. All right, so now my Django app is booted with Gunicon. As you can see, we, it is written that booting worker with PID7. That means Gunicon is currently active. And now if I again go to my localhost 8000 port, I should see the app here, which is present right here. Perfect. So guys, that was how you can build Docker image for the Django app and also run the container on your local server. Well, that's it for the video and thanks for watching.